Welcome back to Fligavia. In today's video, we're diving into some of the most noteworthy updates in the aviation industry. First up, Airbus continues to face challenges as its 2024 delivery targets seem increasingly out of reach, despite multiple revisions to its plans. Meanwhile, Boeing is grappling with the aftermath of a massive strike that left 17,000 employees out of work, severely impacting the production of its 737 family and its ability to handle a massive backlog of orders. But it's not all struggles. Airbus made a significant mark with the first commercial flight of the A321XLR, bringing a glimmer of hope to the industry. Let's break down these news together. Airbus is under significant pressure to meet its adjusted 2024 delivery target, which was already lowered from 800 to around 770 aircraft earlier this year. By the end of October, the company had delivered 559 planes, but still faces a backlog of over 200 aircraft that must be delivered in the final two months. This would require doubling its monthly delivery rate from the current average of 60 to 70 planes, a daunting challenge. So what are the reasons behind the challenges? The first is supply chain disruptions. Persistent issues with engines, aircraft structures, and cabin components have slowed production, especially for the A320neo family, Airbus's best-selling aircraft. The second reason are come D from the delayed long-term production goals. Airbus is planned to produce 75 A320neo planes per month has been postponed until 2027 due to suppliers struggling to meet demand. Despite the difficulties, Airbus has reiterated that the 770 delivery target is achievable, although analysts remain skeptical. Some predict the company might need to further revise the target down to 750 to 760 planes in its third quarter financial report. Analysts like Sash Tusa have remarked that 750 deliveries would already be a good result. To hit the target, Airbus must manage a record high backlog, currently at 8,598 orders, with an additional 235 new orders received in September alone. Meanwhile, Airbus reported third quarter adjusted earnings before interest and taxes of 1.41 billion euro, exceeding analysts' expectations of 1.21 billion euro. The strong earnings result, driven by solid demand for aircraft and ongoing efficiency improvements, has helped to sustain investor confidence amid the supply chain struggles. However, with the delivery backlog continuing to stretch beyond 200 aircraft, the company's ability to hit its revised target remains uncertain. While Airbus has made progress in clearing some of its delivery delays, the company's final push in the closing months of 2024 will require a monumental effort to ramp up production and address ongoing bottlenecks. The strong third quarter earnings reflect the resilience of the business, but the delivery target may still be a bridge too far unless Airbus can dramatically accelerate its output. Before we move forward to another news, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you'll also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now, let's dive in. Boeing, Airbus's most formidable rival, has also faced a challenging year highlighted by a seven-week machinist strike that disrupted most of its aircraft production and significantly delayed deliveries. Over 32,000 workers walked off the job back in September demanding better pay. The strike only ended after the company agreed to a 38% pay raise over four years. But even now, Boeing's factories are far from back to normal. Restoring operations means retraining workers, assessing safety, and ensuring qualifications are up to date. This process could take weeks. What are the impacts of the strike? Boeing only delivered 14 planes in October, the fewest since November 20th, 20, during the depths of the pandemic. Nine of the deliveries last month were 737 MAX. On top of that, Boeing is still under tight Federal Aviation Administration restrictions after a safety incident earlier this year with the 737 MAX. The FAA capped production at 38 planes per month, but Boeing has been struggling to even meet that, averaging around 30 planes per month in recent months. But it's not all bad news. Boeing just secured a huge order for 80. Boeing 737 MAX jets from Avia Solutions Group, a major player in the aircraft leasing business. Deliveries won't start until 2030, but this is Avia's first ever direct order with a manufacturer, marking a big win for Boeing during a tough year. Of course, the competition is heating up. Just last month, Airbus won a deal with Riyadh Air for 60 narrow-body jets, keeping the pressure on Boeing to step up both production and quality. 
And let's not forget Boeing's enormous backlog of 5,400 planes worth $428 billion. Balancing that with current production challenges won't be easy, especially as credit rating agencies are warning that Boeing's bonds could drop to junk status if it doesn't deliver results soon. So what's next for Boeing? Can they bounce back from these setbacks or will the road to recovery prove too steep? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. However, it's not just about challenges and issues to overcome. The aviation industry has also recently received some good news from Airbus. On November 14th, 2024, Airbus achieved a significant milestone with the first intercontinental commercial flight of its A321 XLR extra long range. Iberia operated flight IB347 from Madrid Barajas Adolfo Suarez Airport to Boston Logan International Airport marking the debut of this highly anticipated aircraft. With a range of up to 4,700 nautical miles, the A321 XLR represents a new chapter for long-haul aviation, offering airlines and passengers a host of benefits, from improved efficiency to expanded route options. This aircraft stands out in the market for its ability to bridge the gap between narrow-body and wide-body operations, it allows airlines to operate longer routes, traditionally the domain of larger jets, with a smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft. The Madrid-Boston flight, spanning approximately 3,000 nautical miles, was well within the XLR's range capabilities, demonstrating the aircraft's potential for transatlantic and other long-haul routes. Iberia, the launch customer, plans to add seven more to its fleet in the coming months, reflecting its confidence in the aircraft's value proposition. Equipped with next-generation engines and aerodynamic refinements, this generation of A320 family boasts 30% greater fuel efficiency than comparable wide-body aircraft on similar routes. This aligns with the aviation industry's push towards sustainability, offering airlines a tool to reduce emissions and meet stricter environmental regulations. For passengers, the A321 XLR promises an improved travel experience, with its range enabling more direct flights to underserved destinations, reducing layovers and overall travel times. The A321 XLR introduces exciting possibilities for the aviation industry, particularly in the long-haul market. Traditionally, airlines have relied on wide-body jets like the Airbus A330 or Boeing 787 to connect distant destinations. These aircraft, while effective, often come with higher operational costs and require higher passenger demand to justify their deployment. The A321 XLR changes the equation by offering a lower cost solution for long haul routes with moderate demand. This is particularly impactful for secondary cities that currently lack direct international flights. Airlines can now explore new markets with less risk, connecting smaller hubs directly without relying on major transfer points. For passengers, this could mean increased access to direct flights, shorter travel times, and competitive pricing. And what is the significance of this event for the aviation industry? The successful commercial debut of this extra-long-range aircraft signals Airbus's growing dominance in the narrow-body segment. The aircraft's advanced technology and operational efficiency solidify Airbus's position as a leader in innovation. With a backlog of orders from major carriers worldwide, the A321 XLR is poised to play a key role in Airbus's strategy for the next decade. However, Airbus still faces challenges. The production of the A321 XLR has been delayed multiple times due to supply chain issues and regulatory hurdles. Ensuring timely deliveries and meeting the high demand will be critical to maintaining customer confidence. Additionally, Airbus must continue addressing sustainability concerns as the aviation industry faces increasing scrutiny over carbon emissions. The launch of the A321 XLR definitely puts pressure on Boeing and other competitors to respond. Boeing currently lacks a direct competitor in the narrow-body long-haul segment as its 737 MAX series does not match the A321 XLR's range or efficiency. While Boeing is focused on its 787 Dreamliner for long-haul operations, it may need to accelerate the development of a new narrow-body aircraft to remain competitive. For airlines, the A321 XLR's efficiency and versatility make it an attractive alternative, potentially diverting orders from Boeing's product lineup. 
This intensifies the competition in the commercial aviation market, forcing Boeing to innovate or risk losing market share in the lucrative narrowbody segment. Beyond Boeing, other manufacturers like Embraer and Comac may also face pressure to expand their offerings to meet the growing demand for long-range narrowbody aircraft. Airbus's success with the extra long-range aircraft version could set a new industry standard, compelling competitors to rethink their strategies. As we wrap up today's deep dive into the latest happenings in the aviation industry, there's a lot to think about. With Airbus continuing to face delivery challenges and Boeing working through the aftermath of its strike, what does the future hold for these two giants? And with the commercial debut of the A321 XLR, we've seen a promising shift in long-haul travel that could reshape the industry. Will this new aircraft revolutionize how airlines approach intercontinental flights, especially for those smaller underserved cities? What do you think about the A321 XLR's potential for success? Do you believe Airbus can keep up with the demand for these next-gen planes despite the production delays? And what about Boeing? Will it be able to recover quickly enough to maintain its competitive edge, or is the road to recovery longer than expected? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis from the world of aviation, only here on Fligavia.